Hi, my wonderful human beings. Here is the directions of how to um, complete the assignment, Map of Early Civilizations. Follow along with me as I read the instructions. First, watch the explanation video. Thank you for following those directions and doing this first. Then, on the attached world map, identify and label the six continents shown, all five oceans, and the different civilizations that will be that we will learn about that we will be learning about this year. Be sure to color code your legend and mark your map correctly. After you have finished creating and labeling your map, answer the questions. So what we are going to do is we are going to click on the menu. Don't actually click on the, um, the document. Click on the three little dots as the menu and you're going to open in Word. So click those three dots. Go back to it. Click those three dots and open in Word. Okay, don't open in Word Online. The um, tools that we need are not available in Word Online. So this pops up. Our objective for today, I can use the internet to search for maps of early civilizations. Then I can answer questions about the different regions of the world that we will be studying this year. The directions here are the exact same as they were before. And then our two questions, number one, where do you notice a lot of early civilizations settled? And number two, why do you think so many civilizations grew in that area of the world? We don't have enough information to answer those questions, so we are going to first um, identify and label the continents. So I'm going to go to Google, Google and I'm going to type in, because I need to find a map of the continents, I'm going to just type in map of continents. And I can choose to either use images or websites. But this looks nice and easy and color coded. So this is the map that I'm going to use. Since I can't really see it that well, I am going to maybe use that map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and then open image in new tab. And it makes it nice and big for me. Okay. That's not the map we want to use. Hold on. There we go. That's the map we want to use. So, opens it up nice and big for us. I know that this continent is North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica is not on our map. So, we're going to go back to Word. And we are going to, and remember, this is a video, so you can pause it if I'm going too quickly. We are going to um, label it. So the way that you are going to draw on your map, and this is why you need to be open in the desktop app and not on the website, because you are going to go to this tab right here that says Draw. So click Draw, and then you're going to click this little pen right here. When you click that pen, you're able to take your stylus from your laptop, that little pen thing that clicks out, and you're going to just write Your guys' stylus doesn't work on mine. Oh man. Hold on, I borrowed a student stylus. Here we go. You're going to write South America, except that's North America, Hawkins. It's been a day, y'all. Okay, we're going to try that again. You're going to write North America. Is it okay if it's not absolutely perfect? Good. And then you're going to label the rest of the continents. South America. This is Africa, this is Europe, this is Asia, and this is Australia. Remember, we do not have Antarctica on our map. From here, you are also, remember, you can always go back to Google if you need to. Now we need to label the oceans. We have the Pacific Ocean here and here. Make sure you label both sides. We have the Indian Ocean, south of India. We have the Arctic Ocean at the very top of the globe, and this whole ocean right here is the Atlantic Ocean. So once you have everything nice and labeled, you're going to go back to your document. Now all of yours is labeled. Mine is not yet because this is just your directions. 
you have the six continents, you have the oceans, and now you need the different civilizations that we will be learning about this year. So the first civilization we'll be learning about is Mesopotamia. So we're going to go back to Google, and we are going to search for map of Mesopotamia. And again, we can either use images or we can use websites. I'm just going to use an image. So I click on the very first one, and that doesn't really help me much. I don't really know where in the world that is. So I'm going to scroll down, and I'm just going to keep looking through the images, trying to find some image that can help me with a big landmass. Oh my gosh, this one helps because it, this is labeled Africa and Europe and South Asia, so I know where on my map to look. I know that Mesopotamia is right there off of that little rectangle boot-looking boot -looking, um, landmass. So I'm going to go to my map. Again, I'm going to go back to draw, and now I'm going to click this little down arrow, and I'm going to choose a different color. I'm going to choose red, and I'm going to change the thickness to be as wide as it possibly can. I'm going to make sure that it's still on draw, and with my stylus, I'm going to color in Mesopotamia. And then I'm going to make sure my map or my legend is color coded also. Now I'm going to do the same thing with Egypt. I'm going to go back to my um, browser, and I'm going to type map of Egypt. Uh-oh, what pops up is modern-day Egypt. Do we need a map of modern-day Egypt? No, thank you for answering. I appreciate that. So we're going to type instead map of ancient Egypt. Oh, there we go. This makes it a lot better. But I don't know where in the world that is, so I can't use that map. How about this one? zoom in. Could I use this map even though it's a little bit fuzzy? Yeah, because this part is zoomed in, but it does give us a portion of the map where that where that country is in terms of the continent. So I know that it's in Africa, and I know that it is in the northeast corner of Africa. So I'm going to again go back to my map. I'm going to click draw. I'm going to change the color again. Oops, make sure I've got draw, there we go. Change the color again. Egypt is going to be green for me. And there we go. I'm going to draw Egypt. You are going to run into the same issues with Ghana and Mali and China and India and Rome. All of those are still modern day countries. So make sure as you are searching, you put in the search term ancient and then that civilization, okay? Once you have finished your identifying and labeling the continents, the oceans, and the civilizations on your map, then you're going to answer these questions. Where did you notice a lot of early civilizations settled? And why do you think so many civilizations grew in that area of the world, okay? So you're going to make an observation and then an inference. If you have any questions, please email me. Be good people. Make good choices. Bye.